Hi, my name is Larry Kern, one of the superintendents assigned to the Fab Yard, and I've been asked to help explain how it is we're building stuff here at the yard. So I thought the best way to do that would be to go back to the beginning and show you how we're building things. The girders are delivered on site from local certified fab shops. As the girders are unloaded, they are placed on dunnage, spaced out, and aligned. We then install all the infill steel and check for alignment. Once the infill steel is installed and aligned, we have a double girder ready to pick and set on temporary columns. Once the double girder has been set and bolted up, we shoot elevation and check for alignment to grid. The ring beams are then delivered to site and picked directly off the truck and set in place. These ring beams have two functions. They act as a structural element and a skylight. Now that we have all the steel in place and bolted up, we check for alignment and weld everything out. We now have a completed double girder ready for paint and mass timber. Once the iron workers get out far enough in front, we go back and start the mass timber. These glue lamps are unique in that they are arched glue lamps they were set in a jig and pressed into shape. They are picked, set, and braced off with both iron workers and carpenters working together to get this done. Then the mass plywood is installed. Once the mass plywood has been screwed off and inspected, we have a completed diaphragm and we can remove the bracing and move on to the next section. One of the most impressive features of this project is the domes we create with the arch glue lamps. Each glue lamp has a unique arch as we go up the dome that needs to be braced for stability and to keep the center lines on grid. Because of these domes, the mass plywood has to be shaped to fit the curvature of the dome. They all need to be designed and cut so that when we install them, they conform to the curvature of the dome and land square to grid. It's like trying to wrap a piece of paper around a basketball. The paper will not conform to the spherical shape without wrinkles. Once we have enough of the wood structure complete, we start on both the roofing and skylights above an MEP rough-in underneath. These are first-of-a-kind skylight in the U.S. They were developed by the port to be OSHA fall protection compliant. With these skylights, it eliminates the need for additional fall protection like handrail or tie-off points. The sprinkler lines and electrical need to be installed before the sound panels. This is done to hide the conduit and the pipe behind the sound panels. The sprinkler lines needed to be fabricated with an arch to match the curve of the mass plywood and coordinated so that the sprinkler heads would land in the space in between panels.
After MEP rough-in has passed inspection, we start installing finishes like the sound panels and lattice. Because of the curvature of the mass plywood, the sound panels had to be laid out on the ground and lasered up so that we could get them perfectly set on grid. The lattice is laid out off of grid and installed. Each piece of lattice has a unique identification number stenciled on it so that we can ensure that it goes in the right place. The connection from the lattice to the glue lamp has been milled to match the angle of the interface from the lattice to the glue lamp. The center section is unzipped down the center and split up into super modules and drawers. At the split, the roofing, MEP, and mass plywood are all removed. The pan deck is removed, and then the girder splice is unbolted. At the drawers, the glue lamps are unbolted and the bottom connection is fitted with a skate. The drawers are then slid out using the bottom flange as a guide. At the super modules, the glue lamps remain connected to the double girders. The super modules are then lifted and transported over to the terminal. All right, well, I hope that gives you a better understanding how we're building things here in the fab yard. Uh, please continue on with the tour. There are other links. The blue ones are informational and the red ones are links to other videos that you might find interesting. Thank you.